These robots at FIRA today are like family for the people beside me. Now they've made these robots and they're here for some serious competition. It's the Olympics for these robots. Enjoy the special. The 15th FIRA Robots World Cup was an event larger than life. And Bengalurians were thrilled to see robots perform and participate in various events. The events included the marathon, penalty kick, football, running race, weightlifting, wall climbing and many others. The event saw participants from over 20 nations participating including Great Britain, Slovakia, China, Malaysia, India of course and many others. So in a way it was the robotic Olympics. But I was shocked to see the way these robots played football. It's sometimes amazing how a robot can be made to play football. Now check this out. <laughs> Everyone was amazed to see the intelligence with which these robots play. But what was amusing is that it was not just simple acts like shooting a goal that these robots could do, there were more complex tasks that they could take care of. As you can see, I'm ringside for the match being played between uh, Slovakia and Malaysia. And uh, this is the match, as you can see, these are called Mirosot. Now their job is essentially to shoot the goal into the opponent's uh, goal. And uh, it's just like the normal football, the only difference is it's being played by robots. Unbelievable that robots are actually playing football. According to the rules, each team will have five Mirosots and three human team members. A manager, a coach and a trainer and only they will be allowed in the stadium. Because competition is fierce for this Olympics, only the best teams from across the world were sent. At halftime, this is what the score looked like in this tie between Slovakia and Malaysia. Like every football match has a halftime, these robots too have a half time in their football match. Just take a look at what is happening to these robots. Now, these robots are having their batteries charged so that they can get ready for the next round of the football match. In fact, they also got their wheels cleaned up and also getting toned up for the next round. Now, this part is essential for any robots football match. We'll just wait and see what really happens in the match now. Well, very similar to our real life footballers, don't you think? But now we are sure there's one question lingering in your mind. So what essentially happens is the camera on top records whatever is happening on the ground, transmits it to the computers. Once the images are transmitted, there is a program that decides what each particular bot has got to do. So how does the camera recognize each specific mirror sort? Well, as you can see, each mirror sort's back has a different color code and based on that, these mirror sorts are identified. But when the game ended, Slovakia were the clear winners. But if you thought that was the only competition, then you're terribly mistaken. Michael Jordan was your hero? Then meet Robo Jordan. Whether it's three pointers, or the dunks, he is the man. Now he is Kobe, that's what they call him. Now what's interesting is they're saying by 2050 there's not going to be human basketball, it's going to be robot basketball and thousands of people are going to watch that. Can you imagine a future where there's not going to be human basketball and there's going to be robot basketball? Unbelievable, don't you think? Whoa, 
Are humans going to become obsolete? We certainly hope not. From basketball, we move to the latest fad, the Usain Bolt one. But at Amrita Engineering College in Bengaluru, Usain arrived in a different form. And now we are standing at track side to the race. In fact, the race has just started and this event is called the sprint, wherein these robots have to cross a line and go back. So there's a total of six meters. One way they come three meters and the other way they go another three meters. And if they can do that successfully within their own track, they win. But the catch, they need to run the second half of the six meters backwards. And some robots crumbled under competition pressure. <laughs> but for the determined, nothing could stop them. This is Gerard, and he is named after the famous footballer Stephen Gerard. But what's special about Stephen Gerard is that he is the one who nearly broke the sprint record, the six meter sprint record. Now, what I really liked about Gerard is the way he started. Take a look. It's like the tap on the head you get in school, isn't it? Cute fella, isn't he? You must be thinking by now, where is the Indian team? Well, we won't disappoint you. This giant humanoid is from the Bits Pilani stable and he is a weightlifting pro. Check him out. So, how did he fare in the competition? We shall surely tell you about that. But just before that, when I asked him for his reactions on if he was tired after the weightlifting competition, this is what he had to say. Now, he is Akyut. Now, he is the Indian team's weightlifting robot. And in fact, he's made us proud. He won the competition. And uh, look at him lifting his hand saying that he won. Well, quite fascinating, don't you think? Now he's coming back next year, but next time he's going to break the world record in weightlifting. Well, well, can't blame him. He was really tired. So you must be thinking by now. Well, these robots seem to be interesting, but will they be of any use in real life? In the next one or two decades, we think, just like mobile phones are there with us, Everybody, into the common man, we think that robots will become part of our life. We think just like personal computers, personal robots will be there and my robot will be talking to your robot and they interchange a lot of information, data, etc. So we have to live with robots, a world where ro robots and humans have to live in harmony. So these competitions will provide arena for to research along those directions. Now that will certainly be cool. Would you love a robot doing all your chores? Washing clothes, cooking, you name it and they'll do it. Wow, that's not wonderful, that's thunderful. Robots are slowly being trained to do chores. But that will certainly take time. We shall pray all that comes soon. But if you're thinking of buying one soon, then let's listen to the cost. He costs a whopping $25,000, which in Indian money is close to about 13 lakh rupees. Can you believe it? This three-foot robot costs $25,000. Well, uh, I don't know when this is coming to India, but I can't afford it, certainly. Well, mm, maybe we should just wait for the prices to come down. What do you think? One thing is clear now, I realize that I can't buy it anytime soon. 
so I thought I'll make it myself. That way I can cut costs. So I decided to ask the lad from Bitsplani how to make it and if it's really difficult to make. It's, uh, if I, if I t tell you frankly, initially you will think it's a rocket science, but if you have your basics and concepts clear, you know, you, you definitely have to work hard. Like we have been working around 15, 16 hours per day. Yeah, do, you do have to toil hard, but once you get your concepts clear, basics clear, then, 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 it, then the path is easy. You just have to you know, put your brains, brain, brains on it. <coughs> so, I have to work 15 to 16 hours, then it will become easy? Hmm, not for me. You make the robot, I'll buy it. But that being said, there are people who are looking at the possibility of buying a robot, especially after the trailer of the Rajnikan Stara and the robot has hit the television screens across the country. The sci-fi flick has Rajnikanth in the lead playing a double role of a man and a robo, along with Aishwarya. He's unbelievable! He's like a superhero! Now that's one robot we're waiting to see. Nowadays a lot of movies are made with a theme revolving around robots. But what everybody wants to know is what impact will robotics have in our lives. The, a bigger impact that computers and the internet have and uh, there are other technology like nanotechnology that will be part of that because uh, improved material sciences will allow us to build more powerful motors and better batteries. A bigger impact than the computer? Hmm, pretty interesting. Okay, so if it's that important, then let's just take a closer look at a robot. With one visible part is the camera here. Okay. It has a, a computer which, which runs Linux here, which processes the picture. And we have another com computer in the back, which, which controls all the legs and the, the arms and the movements. So the, the, the main computer makes the decision and the secondary computer controls the movements. So unlike humans, these guys have got their brains in their stomach. Hmm, weird. But that being said, we met some young chaps who have some serious brains. Well, the Fira competition had some great news for us Indians. The team from Bits Pilani managed to win the weightlifting competition in the humanoid category. Oh, and yeah. You're looking at the only humanoid in the country and it's made by these young chaps. Wonder who's going to be the next Indian Einstein. This is Akyut. Now he is the weightlifting robotic champion this year. In fact, he's created a new world record. He lifted 40 CDs. Can you believe that? In fact, next year he's planning to lift 60 CDs. Now, this is how he's saying he is the winner this time. Check it out. I mean, I lifted his hand this time, but I switch, if I switch him on, then he'll do it by himself. Well, that's all we have for you in this special with camera person Raghu. This is Anthony Davis for News 9.